It is Friday, October 30th, 2020, and this is your Three Gorges Dam update. We have three pieces of information to cover today, including a look at the live stream and the water level at the dam. We're also going to have a look at the debris issue at the Three Gorges Dam and some new tweets. Let's hop into it. And a brief caveat before today's video, while researching for these reports I come across information from various sources. Just because I decide to include a piece of information doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with it. I like to let you decide for yourself. Moving on. And I hope everybody's doing okay today. First let's have a quick look at the live stream at the dam. And the spillway angle camera is still up and running today. And now a quick look at the side angle camera. No surprise, it's still down. And now let's have a look at the water level at the Three Gorges Dam. The current water level is 174.42 meters. The current inflow is not noted and the current outflow is listed at 15,900 cubic meters per second. It is worth noting that these numbers are released by the CCP. Over the past 24 hours, the water level at the dam has actually fallen a bit. It was about 174.6 meters and currently sits at 174.42 meters. There also looks to be a bit of relief upstream at Kuntan. The water level was about 175.9 meters 24 hours ago and currently sits at 175.5 meters. And this comment is courtesy of Bob Usery. 175 meters is the normal water level during non-flood seasons. The digital imaging that shows warping is silly. And Cheryl Scout 9 McWard had an interesting reply. Problem is it isn't a non-flood season and the weight of the water is much greater with all the fill up and trash. The levels of water moving into the dam are troubling. The idea that the government keeps the water level at 175 doesn't seem right if the water level drops at Kuntan. It isn't this year, but during non-flood seasons, it would be much lower. Kuntan is not a dam, so what is at this area is moving into Three Gorges. And thank you for the comments, Bob and Cheryl. Yes, 175 meters is the normal level during non-flood seasons, and the digital imaging that shows warping is silly in my mind as well, but Cheryl does bring up some good points about the amount of trash behind the dam, and also that Kuntan isn't really a dam, it's just a hydrologic monitoring station. Thanks for sharing, guys. And that ties into our next comment, courtesy of Daniel Hay. Lots of garbage and debris from the satellite pic. It could be plugged. And thank you for the comment, Daniel. Yeah, there is no denying that there's large amounts of debris behind the dam. If we just look at this photo released by Guangming Daily on October 22nd, we can see it for ourselves. And when we look at the Zoom Earth satellite photos from 2018, we can see that there wasn't any trash behind the dam at all. And now having a look at the Sentinel Hub satellite photo from October 22nd, 2020, we can see that there is a large amount of debris behind the dam. And the debris is a factor in this that can't be overlooked. And it raises two questions. One, is it actually clogging the gates? And two, if it is, will they be able to get it out in time? And our next comment is courtesy of Terry Curriton. A few years ago, we took a Viking River cruise on the Yangtze, which included a tour of the Three Gorges Dam and an all-night passage through the Five Locks. On that trip, which also included some land-based touring, we saw many, many construction cranes, which we were jokingly told were now known as the Chinese State Bird. In your video, you showed a couple of cranes moving back and forth on the top of the dam, and I was surprised to see that those cranes could dance too. And yesterday, I was actually able to capture another crane moving on the lower left hand side of the dam. Thank you so much for the comment, Terry. 
And this comment is courtesy of Kobe7. At the end of your video, which seems to be loot video with time clock keyed in, watch at the bottom. The so called fisherman is still there and doing the same thing over and over. And thank you so much for the comment, Kobe. Let's have a quick look at that footage. And there certainly is a shadowy figure lurking at the bottom of the screen. I will say this though, a couple of weeks ago I actually captured another gentleman fishing at the dam and this time it was during the day and as far as I can remember he stayed to the right of that big rock down there. And once again thank you for watching this video. If you celebrate Halloween I hope you have a safe and happy weekend. I will try to be back at some point this weekend with another update and until then here's some tweets and information. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. And I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.